Good morning, my friends. I'm here on my back porch, and I'm here with Jane this morning. And we've already done Dick. That was a couple days ago. And I got some beautiful castings out of, uh, out of Dick. And it was two pounds, and I sifted those, let them dry a little bit, and I sifted them. And I think you can see they're just lovely. And uh, the parts that were... Uh, a little rough and, and it was too early. Uh, I just kind of threw those uh, into my uh, Miracle Grow potting soil so that it will enrich it. It's not going to be as crumbly as this, but uh, I don't really mind if it's in a in my potting soil. It can it can enrich the soil just doing that. So this is nice for sprinkling. You know, if you want to sprinkle it on top or around your plants. Uh, and it leaves a, f a very fine surface and breaks down. But anyway, here I am with Jane. And I always have to laugh because everybody has their own way of doing their uh, uh, harvesting. You know, some people harvest from the top and others fluff it. And they uh, then, you know, allow the worms to go down. And I have the method of everybody off the bus at once. Uh, method, which is you just turn it over and give it a little um, release, like you're like you're doing uh, ice the old ice cubes. There we go. There, everybody's off. Well, not everybody. Apparently, only part of them. But you can see I've got lots of worms here, and I've got lots of worms still in here. And I I think um, Jane actually seems to have more worms than um, Dick did, although Dick had, there were a lot of worms in there, uh, I really have been kind of neglectful in, um, I was, had planned on doing these every week, and it's just, um, with six bins in a garden, um, I haven't been as dutiful as I had originally planned. Let me move this to my center. And I'm, I'm not going to uh, show you the whole process. I just want to clean this out. And then I, I want to uh, kind of redo all of my tape that's peeling off and all that sort of thing. It doesn't really need to be, you know, I I'm, used to be so fastidious about making sure everything was cleaned and I'd scrub it with soap and water and throw a little bleach in, you know, and I'm thinking, gee, aren't I, aren't I trying to get the bacteria to grow? I don't think we want to try cleaning it quite as um, stringently as we're doing um, our hands during our COVID lockdown. So, you know, uh, just as long as, you know, we've got it somewhat clean, and again, you know, I think I will maybe redo these although this one this one isn't as bad jane isn't as bad as as dick was but that was really falling apart and and needed to have the uh, netting all redone so that's all i'm going to show you at this point um you see i don't i don't seem to have any real worm balls eh. nice groupings i mean and you can see the worms are, it's like varying ages. Although I don't really see any major cocoons. One thing I did want to show you was that I had a toilet roll in each of them before. I'm sorry, a paper towel roll in each of them before. And I wanted to um, take this apart. Because all I had done was put the the towel roll in here and I was hoping to use it to get air into the system rather than actually putting any food in and I can see that the worms actually did crawl inside the empty tube and look at all the castings they put took you know brought in with them you know that this was empty so uh, it's not like they were Uh, carrying things in, you know, they were, they actually were going and poop, going and poop. 
You can see you've got a mature worm there with the clitellum. So there are lots of lots of worms in here. But I wanted to see if I could harvest, uh, if I got two pounds off of this like I did uh, Dick, I would be very, very happy to uh, start these all over again. I, I looked back and I had started this uh, in October, uh, like the first uh, week or so in October. So if you think, you know, October, uh, November, December, January, February, uh, well, it was more of October, October, November, December, and then all of January and most of February. So it's four and a half months anyway uh, to get two pounds. Uh, I think that's quite a bit off of uh, a little container like this and the fact that you're not starting out with the whole thing. You're uh, gradually building it up. So I'm going to try and just give everybody a little airy fluff and and then I will I don't really feel any food or anything I'm going to kind of mound this up and leave them out here and then come back in a, an hour or two and see what I can harvest off this uh, top so uh, I'll leave you with that and I will uh, either come back or just make a, a different video but that's how I I do it with kind of the old way of flipping it over and then uh, letting it sit out so that the worms who are are light sensitive they don't have eyes or anything but their skin is light sensitive they will dive down in here and uh, the other thing I did also was I didn't add any liquid to it uh, so that they're easily moving uh, through the uh, layers of this and you can see it's pretty pretty crumbly so uh, anyway that was that was it and uh, hopefully I will uh, I'll see you in uh, a day or so whenever I'm all finished with this so um, please if you have any comments or anything let me know what you're doing and I hope to see you guys real soon take care bye bye